What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time stopping in, thank you for joining me. Today is a fun one. Today we are out of the garage and we are headed on a multi-day motorcycle trip. Plans have changed from what I kind of spoke about in my previous videos. So um, yeah, we're switching things up, but I am headed out. Gonna go ride an hour east, meet up with my uncle from Sacramento in Seattle, and we're heading over the Cascade Mountain Pass. So let's jump in. All right, you guys, so bike's all cleaned up, packed up, we're ready to go. Go ahead and fire this thing up, hit the gas station, and uh, start knocking out some miles. All right, you guys, well, we are coming up on the Narrows Bridge here, and I uh, figured I'd hop on and uh, talk a little bit about why plans changed and what the kind of tentative plan going forward is. Um, it's pretty windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, so, essentially, the circumstances were uh, my uncle was going to be bringing his street glide. He's got a early 2000s um, Phillips motor, super sweet, custom paint job, you know, bigger spoked wheels, really, really nice street glide. Um, but he ran into some stator issues and couldn't get the parts in time. So he decided to, rather than trailer his bike to Southern Oregon, meeting me in the middle, and then me ride to Southern Oregon, and then we would go do our trip around there. Um, he decided to bring the bike all the way up to Seattle, since he'll be back up here in a few weeks anyways. And um, he ended up trailering his Moto Guzzi to go for this ride. And so we've decided we're gonna ride around here instead. Um, there were some other factors that played into it. We planned on doing some trips to national parks like Crater Lake in Southern Oregon, and there was a ton of wildfire activity out there, and uh, we planned on riding the PCH back up, but this week, unfortunately, is one week that you would not want to do that. It's been really, really uh, a break from our normal summer activities. Uh, we've had lightning, rain, thunder, the whole shebang, um, and so unfortunately, it's just not been a good week to uh, decide to go along the coastline. It's always colder and wetter there. So um, we kind of decided to switch gears and head east from northern Washington here. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, meet them in West Seattle. From there, we're going to head right over the pass tonight, try to get to at least Ellensburg tonight. That way, um, we're away from the rain and in warmer temperatures. And from there, it's kind of you know, up in the air. We've talked about going up to like OMAC, you know, staying at the casino up there, doing the buffet, and then, you know, riding around up there. We would love to hit 20, um, you know, around in the Chelan area, but with all of the wildfires there, I know 20 is closed right now. I don't know if it will remain closed. We could head south, you know, on the east side and go up 12 uh, back, but um, I've heard 12 is um, shut down right now due to a tree falling, causing a fire with power lines and whatnot. So, I don't know, it's kind of wild. We've got fires everywhere. Um, so, we're just gonna make the best of it. Um, you know, it's still gonna be a fun few days, and uh, you know, we'll just see how everything plays out. But I'm happy to not be at work and be on my motorcycle. you guys so we have made it to Seattle and uh, from here we're going to be headed to probably Ellensburg tonight and then uh, possibly a little bit further um, we'll see where we end up what we do for dinner so on and so forth so uh, I'll give you a quick uh, little view of my uncle's Moto Guzzi I know nothing about it so you'll have to give me some information on it but I'll give you a just a quick little view of it and then hopefully at some point we can swap bikes, he can experience a new Harley and I can experience something completely different to share with you guys.
All right, you guys, we made it to Wenatchee today. Wenatchee is kind of north of Ellensburg, so same distance, just over 200 miles from my home. And uh, yeah, so Patrick's bike did good, my bike did good. And uh, we are staying at the Red Lion tonight and we're gonna go find some dinner. Just wanted to check in with you guys real quick. Um, probably not gonna film anything while I'm there because it's, it's dinner. One of these days, uh, you know, while we're out, I'll, I'll definitely like do the thrash and a couple of bites of food thing. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go enjoy. So catch you guys in a little bit. All right, good morning, you guys. Day two, uh, we just woke up about 6.30, had some breakfast here at the Red Lion. It was actually surprisingly really good. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and head out. We're gonna ride along the Columbia River Gorge area, and then we're gonna end up turning up north and heading towards Omac. And uh, we're gonna go check out the Grand Coulee Dam, which is apparently the world's largest concrete structure. So let's get it. you guys well after a few stops we got some fuel we did um, a random tour a Grant County uh, museum tour we had a bunch of cool like farm stuff and old fire trucks and whatnot kill a little bit of time we have made it to the Grand Coulee Dam and uh, damn so as I was saying apparently it is the world's largest concrete structure I'm not sure if that's still accurate but um yeah, it's, it's quite the view, it's, it's, it's massive. So we are signed up to do the two o'clock tour and uh, for now we're gonna go ahead and pull the bikes over to a good scenic spot and get a couple of uh, pictures. It may end up being the thumbnail for this video, we'll see. Uh, right now we're talking to some nice folks. Uh, they've ridden motorcycles and the guy's got a Corvette t-shirt, so my kind of guy. <laughs> you guys so we just finished up a bus tour free uh, here at the Grand Coulee Dam and uh, it was pretty fun it was about an hour almost uh, they took us down a few levels in uh, showed us their generators and everything like that big old GE's big green EMD green just like uh, some of the ships that I work on so um, pretty cool stuff and uh, from here it's uh, three o'clock so we're gonna go ahead and make our way to OMAC and get checked into our hotel. That's gonna be our kind of center base for the next two days. We may ride out to Winthrop or some other stuff. We'll see, there are fires at Chelan. It's like 30 something, 40 something thousand acre fire. So pretty big, so we'll see uh, if we can avoid that in the process. All right, you guys, we were just on the iPhone here. I didn't feel like pulling all the camera and mic and everything out, but we had to stop really quick and check this out. This view is insane. We've got the bikes, we've got the Columbia River here. 
incredible shelves of just hundreds of miles of just nothing. Yeah, oh yeah, and that whole like dam thing we were just checking out. Well, good morning. Uh, we did a good job of uh, dodging the rain for the first two days, but this morning we woke up with uh, a, little, a little precipitation. So, uh, plans changing yet again. This has kind of just been an on-the-fly trip, and it's been a lot of fun so far, and I think that uh, the fun's not gonna stop today. So, we're gonna don the rain gear, and we're gonna head south and end up in Yakima and uh, see what that has to offer us. Uh, if we get there early enough, maybe we'll do some riding around there. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll make the best of it. All right, you guys. Well, we have stopped here in Freda, country deli, diner. We're gonna do lunch. I made a big mistake choosing to bring these perforated boots. I am freezing pins and needles. It's cool. Uh, so we're gonna go in and get some lunch and then uh, try to warm up a little bit. And then we'll swing into uh, Yakima. Keep going, twisties, whatever. I didn't really film much. I grabbed a couple shots on my iPhone while we were riding through the rain. But I will go ahead and uh, throw the GoPro on for some more of the trip. Um, currently, we have a dog that we got to show you really quick, though, because this thing is living his best life. Look at this. Oh, he's upset now. We've done it now. Oh, and uh, there's a cool Road King here, so take, take a quick look at that. Nice. Spot. A little bit of coffee. It's good. Nice. Chicken fried steak. Crispy. Gravy. Thick. All right. So as you guys saw, Country Deli breakfast was, or brunch was fantastic. Met a nice couple, the couple with that Road King that we saw. And uh, they mentioned a couple miles down the road at Soap Lake, there's a motorcycle event, rat rods, so on and so forth. So little detour, we're gonna go check it out. All right, you guys, we made it. Uh, it's only like 10 minutes down the road, so quite convenient. And I've already seen the coolest thing I'm gonna see all day. Let's get that genuine reaction. What do you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did it go well, well, well. Alright you guys, well, cool quick little pit stop, some fun stuff to see, but it's time for us to head back on the road and uh, try to keep dodging the rain.
right, you guys. So we made it to Yakima here. Well, Uncle and I were talking about it. Probably about a third of the riding today was in the rain, but um, which really is no big deal. We have all the rain gear, but unfortunately, I wore my perforated boots, like I was saying. So feet were just wet and cold the whole time. But we made it. It's like probably just over 250 miles today, so pretty light little little jaunt. And um, as you guys saw, we hit some really cool roads on what was that? 821. 821. Fantastic. Uh, so looks like we're going to chill out a little bit and grab some dinner and uh, let our gear dry out and uh, yeah, have a good evening and then um, hit the road again tomorrow. Looks like we're going home tomorrow. Should be dry, which should be nice and uh, we'll see kind of the route that we decide to take for that. And uh, yeah, so check in with you guys in a little bit. Good morning, you guys. It is day what, four? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So day four of our motorcycle trip, and this is go home day for us. We woke up to beautiful weather. I think I won't have to ride my rainproof pants all day, get to throw on the, uh, the jeans and enjoy a little bit of flapping in the wind. So um, we are currently in Yakima. We're gonna grab some breakfast, and then we're gonna go ahead and start heading, I think, south. Also, uh, my uncle and I are gonna switch bikes, and I'll give you guys my ideas, thoughts, feelings, whatever, of riding that uh, Moto Guzzi 85 something or other. And, um, and then we'll uh, put the camera in uh, my uncle's hands and get his first uh, thoughts and feelings of the new 2024 Harley Davidsons, because he has an electric glide. He's done some Harley stuff in the past, but uh, this will be obviously a new experience for him. And it'd be cool to kind of bring another first impression to the channel. So. Uh, a lot of fun stuff going down today. It's going to be a really beautiful ride. Uh, hopefully we get there all safe and sound and happy. And uh, so let's hop in. you guys so we spent some time on each other's bikes and I definitely enjoyed a uh, more little upright position for a while felt like I was riding a fast comfortable dirt bike with a little more weight to it um, so let's see initial thoughts about it um, unfortunately I guess I'll start by saying my GoPro would not fire up I charged it all last night and it wouldn't fire up so it is what it is um, I'm gonna throw that GoPro away and upgrade to an Insta I think uh, anyway so um, yeah really comfortable um, definitely felt really narrow compared to the Harley, handled really well, way smoother than the Harley in terms of hitting bumps and stuff, because it's, you know, an adventure bike. Um, it's air-cooled, so that's pretty unique. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to hand uh, the mic over to uh, my uncle and see what he has to say on it. Well, so I, I've ridden a few Harleys, soft tails, uh, electric glides, uh, XR1200 once, and this is by far the most powerful and the most plush. It is like an overpowered easy chair. 
uh, first gear actually surprised me a bit a couple of times. And uh, with a lot of years of riding experience, I still was a little not ready for that. Um, but out on the open road, it is, it, the weight disappears and all you feel is just the power and the smooth ride. I'm, I'm a fan. Sweet. Although the Guzzi is cooler. <laughs> yes, I will admit. Um, uh, anytime we stopped anywhere, everybody would walk up and ask him, oh, is that a Moto Guzzi? Nobody cares about Harleys. It's, it's all right. Uh, we are, I, I guess I should show you guys the view. We are up here. Uh, we ended up not taking uh, 12, we took 410, and the views are immaculate. We're up here um, on our way up the pass, uh, White Pass, and I guess the uh, Pacific Coast Trail also uh, cuts through here. Pacific so Crest Trail. Crest Trail, Pacific Crest Trail. So we have uh, quite a few hikers, like some real hardcore shit, you know, people repacking their entire lives in the parking lot for another stretch. So. Pretty neat stuff you see on the road. Uh, we're gonna hop back on. Like I said, my GoPro is, uh, you know, let me down. So um, I got some cool clips with the Insta360 on the way up the pass here. I think we're just gonna enjoy the ride the rest of the way home. And uh, I don't know how much more footage I'm gonna have for you guys. Obviously when I get home, I'll do kind of like a, an outro and uh, thoughts of the trip. And so for now, we'll go uh, knock some more miles out. All right, you guys, we made it back safe and sound. It was a killer trip. I'm hoping that I got enough footage to put together a pretty good video for you guys. And then obviously um, my abilities with uh, road trip style content and uh, you know actually like riding my motorcycle <laughs> uh, will improve for you guys. So uh, for now, just bear with me as I improve and comments um, with suggestions for angles of clips and stuff like that in the future is totally welcome. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Aside from riding style content, we do a ton of parts installs and we're going to keep that ball rolling. I've already got some more uh, parts ordered, so stay tuned for that. All right, I'll catch you guys in my next off week.